What's going on everyone? So guess what? I decided to learn how to code. And so far I'm starting off with the very, very basics of HTML and CSS. I figured I'd document this on this channel. So this is sort of the video number one, I guess you could say of future videos. I don't know how many I'm going to post here and there, but I just make an update, you know, what I've been up to. And if you've been following me, I've had previous videos doing UX UI design. And I also know how to make website, uh, WordPress websites, stuff where you just simply drag and drop, nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. But the one thing I've yet to dive into is actually learning how to code and build those websites from straight scratch. And you can see here, I was following a course, so I don't know. It's only been a couple of days, so uh, as far as my actual knowledge building stuff, it's not advanced. I'd say this is from a uh, course right now, so I'll just following through it. And one thing I did find out was that uh, you can get stuck in this tutorial phase where you just code out, you know, this ginormous um, HTML right here. And then you got CSS stuff here, stuff that I clearly would have to take weeks, even maybe more depending on how much I spend to actually know this from scratch. But right now, this is just showing you like be the following the course. This is just like a background. It's nothing uh, fancy. But um, let me show you what I actually found that's really helpful. That's actually better than... Uh, finding a course for me, right? at least right now. So the thing I've mainly been reading for the past few days is actually MDN documentation. So if you want to look that up, just go to Google. This is like the uh, the front page, but uh, let me see if I can. Yeah, literally Google MDN documentation. And if you go and it should have this right here, just click on learn web development. If that's if you're trying to learn on um, front end, if you're trying to do like back end stuff, then obviously I can't really help you yet, at least on day one. I'm not too sure on how to, um, where to direct you on that. But this is what I've actually seen some people say they recommend. I did a free code camp already, the um, like HTML, CSS parts. And I got to like the project part, but now it's like, you know what? I still need to learn some more. And this is pretty much super, super helpful. Cause on the, uh, I've seen a couple courses. I watched a few tutorials online and like, it's like as they assume you already know like the little details or they just straight go into it right away, jump into the water, assuming like you know what you're doing. But this actually explains everything as far as I'd say getting the structure. So I'm almost done with the uh, CSS part. And then once I get done with this, I'm actually gonna start trying to build stuff from scratch, see how much I retain. And then I'll go ahead and watch like a few courses from there. But uh, like right here, People like in the course, they straight up, you know, type out the HTML. And if you already know code, obviously you know what I'm talking about. But I'm guessing if you're gonna continue to watch this video, you're probably interested in learning it or you're getting started just like me or you just randomly subscribe and find this video too. But basically, like if I see, or for at least MDN, it shows the like why, why certain things happen. So I can't, you don't obviously have to go through. I don't wanna waste my time um, like explaining everything on here. But uh, the reason I like this is because one, it's, um, you read it. I, I used to actually, before I started this, I was like, oh, I don't want to read this. this is boring. I like watching video uh, course tutorials. Then I actually got into the zone. I'm like, I can just get stuck into this, just reading it, telling you what it is. And I like it because it actually defines and explains everything. Like, uh, obviously this stuff is pretty basic, but there's certain things that, uh, as you continue, if you start, if you just watch a course on Udemy or you just go through it, there's little details that they don't, most instructors don't explain and you're just completely lost. Like um, why they put a div tag there or why they use this specific um, style, etc. But this actually goes from like the roots, explaining everything like M's and then there's RAM stuff, stuff that um I'm still learning too, but I'm just trying to say like on my current experience right now. So I think this is a really good starting point that I think people, if they're, getting started as well should look into because it gives you an overall uh outlook and the actual why like why they do stuff because that's the thing i think that's the biggest um thing i found in uh tutorials is they don't they don't spend the time to explain like why they're doing everything they're kind of just like all right this is what this does put this here this is what pops out and then it doesn't explain it like uh for like the cs i think or css it shows like how it actually works like how it connects with the parents and then um child everything stuff that i'm not going to explain right now people more advanced can talk about but uh this is me just talking about my experience so far and i've seen other uh courses out there a bunch of like paid like monthly subscriptions but i'm actually gonna experiment with them and then once i go through them then i'll give you my advice on what i think about it is it worth it or not but for right now i'm just trying to get in the zone 
learn this HTML and CSS right now and then move on to JavaScript because I know uh, a lot of people say that HTML and CSS is pretty simple. I didn't get used to uh, like the layout part is the part I'm about to be on. I'm almost done with this. So by the time you're watching the video, maybe in a couple of days, I'll be already done with that stuff. And then once I, I have this done, I'm going to move to JavaScript, which I've heard people say is much much more difficult, which hopefully uh, I'll be able to grasp it as quick. But uh, we'll see. Again, this is something that's going to take a lot more time than just like designing. So if you see my previous videos, UX UI design, it's like you just look at something, you make the shapes, you add the text, you know, you're done. But this is like, let me see if I can show you back. Like for a course like this, you want me to make this from scratch? You know, that's not something I'm going to be able to learn in a couple of days. Maybe, you know, if I just watch one tutorial and do it like three to five times over and over maybe, but like just in general from scratch, knowing everything probably is not going to happen that easy compared to design where you could literally just copy and paste the thing. But this is just a course right now, simple, like a bunch of stuff. And uh, I'm not going to mention what this course is yet because I need to go through more tutorials. But the main thing is like um, simple things like this, like inputting a style sheet. So this like if you don't have this, all your uh, decorations, a.k.a. Your, your CSS wouldn't work. Little things like that, that they don't say in the course so that you're just like, oh, you, this is just there. You just assume it's default. And there's a bunch of other stuff. But since this is day one, I don't want to go too long rambling about it. But uh, I just figured I'd post this as my first starting video. And then we'll see. Maybe I'll try to make uh, like a tutorial where I like make a website from scratch or based off something to see what I actually know and learn. But I figured if you want to follow along and you're actually learning code yourself, you already know code, or you just simply want to subscribe to my channel, then go down below, subscribe, follow along this journey. And then also any comments you want to connect, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.